we've made a start. Still got the water on the outside, but we've uh, we've bailed the inside out. Oh, we're going to get a bit more out of that. Looks like it's coming in from the outside. Yeah, so we'll get us some more stone in and get a bit more of this water out. Yeah, I think it's coming through from the outside, but we'll see. A little pump would have been ideal, but we, we haven't got one. We haven't got time to go and get one. So we'll just keep blasting it in. This is all stone that we've dug out. There's a lot of stone already in here, which we dug out from the hard course underneath this slab, which went diagonally across there. So we had all the stone, all the hard course under that, which we just threw back inside and spread out. So a lot of it's already hard cored up. Yeah, so um, here comes Alex with the next one. Oh, we're going to have to get some more water out. It is getting back, get back from the outside. Right. Welcome back to Steve and Alex TV. Excuse me a minute. Uh, we've had a brew. We've made a start on the stone, as you can see. But well, it's no good putting stone up if you don't know what your floor level is. There's, um, there is. Oh, as you can see, push through here. We've got, let's try to focus. There you go. This is asphalt, which is on top of the concrete slab in the house. So we need to be coming up, I think, level with the asphalt. So if we hadn't done this, we'd have been a good inch. Yeah, we'd have been a good inch low. So what we need to do is bring our stone up. As it is, it's dead easy to work to that. You've got your 225, you've got your 100 slab. 125 insulation, but um, we're uh, up on that by an inch, so it means we have to bring more stone for an inch. Yeah. Definitely the still pro fiction, it's tacked up again today, so we're gonna have to work on one tonight and buy the bullet. We do, we are subscribed to GoPro, so we'll get a replacement for 90 quid instead of paying full, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's another story. So yeah, we've got our levels now, we just need to transfer that level round with the pencil along this wall. And there's have your good one.
Okay, is that a little plank out? Just tap that corner with it. Little plank. Oh. Um, well, Dad gets a little plank. Um, stone's all in, stone's whackered, so now it's the sand. It's weird doing this with a phone because I'm used to my hand being further away with the GoPro. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. The GoPro catches a lot more. Yeah. So, uh. <laughs> oh, it's a block, isn't it? Is it under there? Yeah, I think it's under there. I think so, yeah. But, um, so yeah, stone's in, stone's whackered. And now we're getting the sand in. We've uh, got, just got it leveled up here, so that's ready for whacker in there. And then we're just gonna get a really thin layer all across. Then, After that, it's a uh, visqueen insulation and visqueen. Yeah. Ready for the concrete at 11 tomorrow. Between 10 and 1. Between 10 and 1, so. So we're coming at half seven. Yeah. We're going to get stuck in and make sure it's ready. So, mm -hmm. we're, so we're sat waiting, not panicking. Exactly. It's only early on um, Tuesday. Yeah, because we've, uh, we've got to set off early tomorrow as well. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking. Right, as Alex goes for the knife, please just put away. Uh, sort of all sand blinded. Oh. Still got a lot of water to get out of there tomorrow. Yeah, so um, we're rolling out the visqueen now for underneath the insulation. And we're going to leave that in overnight. And then if it does rain, this is protected. We don't want any more water inside here. So that's the plan. And then we'll get the water out tomorrow before we put the insulation in. Otherwise, the insulation will just float. We'll get this all up, get this cut. Can't, can't keep up with the cam camera. I'm pointing over here and the GoPro usually picks that up. <laughs> You've got to catch up. Yeah, so up the wall and then we're going to spread it all out. And then we've got loads of planks. We'll just put loads of planks on it tonight. So yeah, that's it. It's took us all day, which should have, should have, we should have had done quicker than that, but we're not killing ourselves. We've um, done a lot of walking over the last few days. We're knackered. So yeah, that's it. We're going to get this, this fish screen down, get packed up and get home. Back in the morning at half seven to get it prepped. So in the morning, we'll, it'll be a insulation. Another layer of fish screen, the main one, which laps over the walls. Um, we're putting the 19mm uh, around, the, around the perimeter. And then we're putting the insulation up against it to trap it, which is a better idea, which a couple of people have suggested. And then, uh, yeah, get that concrete in. Oh, yeah, I've got to assemble our tamp. That's in the van, I think. Three pieces of 4 2 we'll just screw them together. There we go. That's a long day, that. We put about... We've got five tonne delivered, but it's five tonne loose, so you get five good tonne. Not like these uh, tonne bags, 850 kilos in. There's probably about a quarter of a tonne left over, but we're going to go around the edge tomorrow. But we need to get the water out first. It's too deep, that. It'll just turn to mush. So, um, yeah, we're um, sorted. We're all ready to go. That's, that's the fish green for under the insulation insulation got the 19 mil for around the perimeter for our cold bridging um, insulation and because the slab has got asphalt on it we bust a hole through and transferred a level through and Robbie's put that piece of timber in there that's the bottom of that is level for our slab so that's our height which means same as the last job we've got a uh, this 4 by one nail to the top of the blocks which takes our slab um, obviously an inch higher than the block work but uh, once the slab's in and gone off these these just pop off and we carry on as normal from the block work just raises the slab up <coughs> um, yeah um, started stoning up here but we stopped because of the water so we can do the we can do the um, once the slab's in and troweled up we can do that tomorrow and then it's um, 
to go home, have tea, and head to the airport and pick Alex's girlfriend near up, who's travelling over from Sweden. And then we're off to Alton Towers for a couple of nights for a scare fest. So yeah, that's it. So I'll get this slab in tomorrow, get all tidied up and cleaned up, and then it's it's leaving it tidy for, for a couple of days. Then I'm back Saturday on my own to start the brickwork. So I think, thinking on as I'm talking here, We'll, uh, we'll get some loading out done as well while Alex is with me tomorrow. Yeah, so if we're waiting, if we're waiting for concrete, which we hope we are, we're coming in at half seven. So uh, we'll get loaded out while we're waiting. So yeah, that's it for now. Once the slab's in, we can get all those blocks, all those blocks at the end of the drive onto the slab and start making the drive a bit bigger. We'll see you soon.
break it. Right, Al, what time are we on now? Uh, 10 to. So, it's took us an hour. One hour exactly. <laughs> to get all the cold bridging stripping and all the insulation. And it's in tight, that. We use, we use 125 jab light. <laughs> so that's left over. That can go on to the next job. Got a load more room at the front now. So we're quickly going to get this fish green down now. And then have a quick break and then start getting this water out and getting the stone in so we can get a bit of a bit of an area back down the bottom and like I say once this slabs in we can start getting blocks in right uh, Sarah's calling so we'll get back to you how are we on mate? Uh, 12.05 12.05 so we're two hours into our window aren't we? yeah it's been a very long two hours yeah it's been bouncing down so as you can see it's getting it's pulled a bit now it's still raining but it's gone off a little bit so we're just trying to get some of this surplus water out just in case they arrive because yeah. well they're due any time so We don't have any fancy hoovers or uh, devices, so it's a uh, old-fashioned spade in a bucket. Foundation day. Yeah. Just like the foundation days. Hey, what I said, there's not as much as I thought. That's 40 litres we took out. Yeah. Yeah. Now, even if it rains, it's not too heavy. Yeah, just getting to mix it a bit drier, then we should be all right. Hell, we'll look at that because the material's getting wet on the wagon. Oh, I see. Right, and then I'm just taking it over to the uh, gully over here. Right, so we're gonna keep doing this and then we'll get back to you. If we hadn't taped that, it would have run between the pieces of a screen. Yeah, so good job we taped it up. It's wet enough, yeah. Have we filmed all this bit? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you've seen it all. You've seen the, uh, the face. All right, we'll catch you. Catch, uh, hopefully we'll get back to you when the concrete arrives. So hopefully that's soon. 10 to one, concrete has arrived. 10 minutes before our window shut. <laughs> Yeah, so we're all ready. Pretty much all the water's out now. Um, Alex just making me a quick brew. We're all set. Tamps ready to go. Got our concrete level, our Milwaukee concrete in level. Just for a, and a, our float. So we're all ready to get going. So I'll switch you over to time lapse now and just time lapse this bit, as it'll be quite a long video otherwise. See you in a bit. And there we go, concrete's in. Um, it's absolutely lashing it down at the moment, so um, we're gonna uh, we're going to get tamped, and then we'll show you afterwards because uh, Dad's phone's getting bloody drenched here. So we'll get this tamped up and then call it. Get the uh, tools washed and such. We've got a spare barrow just in case we need any, because knowing our luck, we'd uh, we'd need some. They're just uh, hosing down the road now. 
thank goodness. And um, yeah, so tamping, floating, cleaning, done. That's gonna go pay while I uh, while I get started. And we're back and we're done and we're absolutely soaked through to the skin it's too late to put coats on so yeah, anyway fish screen's all cut off and the uh, the water's gathering on the on the concrete but it's escaping down the cavity there so yeah that's it uh, if it does fill the cavity up it will overflow into the because the uh, concrete's higher. So yeah, that we're done. There's our door. We're all set. A bit windy now. Bloody cold. Yeah, so we're going to get going now. So that's it now. We're tidy. We've got a big, nice big flat area now to store things, put things out of the way, keep them clean. Um, yeah, we can do the mixing on there, we can store all the crap in the corner now out of the way. Just a big relief. We can start getting things in off the road now and get things loaded out. All the blocks can come up now, which are in the way. We can get the stone around the edges, get the water out. So yeah, so um, we're going to get cleaned up now and head to uh, Manchester Airport to pick near up and then off to Alton Towers. Don't know how I'm going to manage, I can't bloody walk. So anyway, we'll see you on the next one.